For this week's Train With feature, we've got international hammer thrower, Jess Mayo. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. It's not the obvious route, is it, to um, start throwing hammers around? What made you choose this path? Yeah, a bit of an odd one. Yeah. Um, it's not really out there in the, in the public mm. eye, I guess, as much as sprinting. Um, but I like it because it's a challenge. Mm. And last year, you nearly won the British Championships. You came second. How did that feel? I did, but I lost out to somebody that, well, Sophie mm. Hitchin, she got bronze at the Rio Olympics. So she's, mm. she's a great ambassador for hammer throwing, yeah. especially in the UK. Um, but yeah, I went into the competition mm. ranked ninth and got silver. So yeah. post-surgery, I can't, yeah. be, can't grumble with that. Yeah, I can't grumble. It's good, good going. Yeah. And your normal training regime, how's that look? Yeah, pretty hectic. Uh, work 35 hours a week and train twice a day. A lot going on. Yeah, a lot going on. And at the moment, your longest throw is 63.05 metres. It is, yeah. How do you go about beating that? It's consistency. Consistency is key. Um, I've had a bit of change. I've changed coaches. And um, touch wood, we've had an uninterrupted winter training period. Mm. So now it's just keep the, keep the head down, keep training yeah. hard, keep getting the numbers in, and the distances will come. Yeah. Well, we're all curious about what kind of training you actually do to be a hammer thrower. So you're going to show us some key moves, yeah? yeah? Let's do okay. it. Let's do it. We're in the gym. I'm ready to get warmed up. I need to get warmed up. Are you warmed up? A little bit of a Well, chewing you can start morning. then. This is exercise one, and this is Swiss ball. Disc twist. 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 Yeah. What's so it all about? On this, we're going to be working our abdominals. It's quite a slow, controlled movement, whilst also activating our glutes as well. So your shoulders are on the ball. You've got the disc in line with your face, and you're just going to twist sideways. And back. And the other way. How many reps would you do? I'd normally do about 10 reps on this one. Give that one a try, guys. You can all do that one. Exercise number two, lose the ball. It's this twist turns. Let's give it a go. So you're going to get into this movement, into this position here. Really engage your quads. You're going to hold the disc here and you're going to turn. And again. And what's the benefit for this for the hammer? So this in the hammer throw, I'm always in the fixed position with my legs down here. Yeah. And we need to be solid in that position. Mm. So again, a slow and controlled movement is ideal. All right then, do you want to give it a try? I'll give it a try. I may not look as graceful as you did. <laughs> That's all right. So remember, in this tight position here, yeah. bend your knees slightly. Yeah. You're going to hold your hands straight out with yeah. the disc lower down. And you're going to turn. And as you turn, you twist the disc. Okay. Okay, that's great. Just try to keep your feet a little bit narrow okay. as you turn again. That's great. And again, try to keep your arms straight. Bit of a pro at this one. And back. Exercise number three. We love this one. It's a back squat with a superset of? Reactive squat jumps. Okay. And what's different about this one? Okay, so on this, we're gonna work on moving down the bar slowly to the box and firing back up again. And then we're gonna superset it with the reactive squat jump to work on the speed on the ground. So for me, I need to be working quick in the circle, but I need to have the power and the strength as well. And you got the box for safety? Safety's there, yeah. And we've also got it in that position rather than square, because it's easier then when you're sitting back onto it. I would have put it square. Yeah, yeah, well, let's give it a go. It's all about the speed powering back up. It is, yeah. So when I deliver the hammer, I need the speed when I'm in the low movement. So we'll give it a go. So walk the bar back in. You can do this with dumbbells, kettlebells. Okay, I'll give it a go. Okay, yeah. so. I don't normally go fast up, so. Okay, well, we can give it a try. So make sure you're in the middle of the bar. How far? Yep, you're good there. Yep. Slow. Just slow down, power up. That's really good. Yeah, you feel it better, don't you? You do, power up. Further down, so it's one full movement up, one full movement down. So you don't have that pause, so it's quick, quick, quick. Nice, that's better. Ooh. I enjoyed that one, got a bit of a burn going on. Exercise number four, this is essential for hammer throwing, disc delivery. Okay, so when I'm throwing the hammer, the end part of the throw is the delivery. We need to block 
and make sure we don't foul the throw by falling out the circle. So, shall I show you how Please. it goes? Okay, so the hammer's coming down here and you block there. Block there. So you really should feel your glutes on fire each time you block. All right, do you want to give it a go? Talk you through it? Not particularly, I'm not very flexible on that. Thing. Let's give it yeah. a go. Okay, so you want to be in a bit of a seated position. Yeah. You're going to take the disc up there and really engage your core as you come down with the disc. You're going to sit into it more, a little bit like a squat. Yeah. And then you're going to fire up and block. And back down. And then we keep trying to keep the Ooh. arms up. <laughs> bit Feeling hard. it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Exercise number five is a twist pulse. It is. So this is key for me for working my abdominals and engaging them again in a slow and controlled movement. Okay, show us how it's done. So take it down like you'd be in a sit-up position, rock back slightly, legs in the air, and pulse. With straight arms, you can do five on each side. So if you do a medicine ball twist, this is an alternate way. It is, yeah. So it depends what you've got available in your gym. Um, you can do this with a medicine ball, you can do it with a disc, yeah. and you can increase the weight as you feel. Yeah. Good core workout for you there, guys. <laughs> so we had five great exercises there, something we can all try as well. Is that like a typical thing? Yeah, so that's a taste really of what I do in one of my circuit sessions. We'd normally do eight different exercises, ten repetitions, three times around the circuit. Yeah. So you want to get into hammer throwing or you just want to take some of them exercises on board, give it a try. It's a great workout. Thanks, Jess. That's all right.